<laughs> okay. Good morning, Eastside Kids. It's so great to be with you. Um, Jesse, aren't you excited about that we're doing our first kids video on Church Online? Yeah, man. It is, uh, it is awesome. I'm actually more excited to see what happened to my face. What happened to your face? Well, don't <laughs> give it away video. yet. We want to keep it a surprise for the kids. But something really exciting is going to happen to Jesse's face. Yep. Um, but we have some kids joining us. Do you want to know who's joining us? Yeah, Can let me know. Me? Let us know. Uh, okay, so... At the moment, we have Sarah Bauer. We have Alan and Bev from Kayser's Beach with their grandchildren, Tig, Zach, and Finn. And we also have Seth and Nate. And we have Charlotte and Harry. So we have a really good group of kids with us. It's I'm really good. excited. Um, so if you are online and you haven't greeted us yet, won't you um, type a chat on the Church Online chat box and we will greet you. Um, but I think we should watch the video now. What do you think? I agree. Let's do it. Cool.
Well, good morning, church. Um, if you've joined us recently here on Church Online, welcome to Eastside Online. My name is Jesse. I am a, I'm a pastor here at Eastside. And my name is Robin, and I'm the children's pastor here at Eastside. And it's great to see you again, Jess. It's great to see you, Rob. So yeah. I've obviously I've been preaching for the past two weeks, so I've been on the screen. I'm sure people are really tired of my face. Yeah. Luckily, but, they put uh, me next to you, so now you they go. have a fresh I mean, Robs, face. That's, that's why you're here this morning, so people <laughs> oh. can see something different. Um, <laughs> Rob, did you have a good holiday? I did. I had a lovely holiday. How was yours? I mean, it was good, but I, I wanted you to tell me a little bit more oh, about you your holiday. Oh, you want more? Tell uh, us no, a little bit more about it your was, holiday. It was so good. I was able to be with my family and spend lots nice. of time with my sisters, and I did lots of resting and gardening. I did lots of gardening, so my garden looks really great. When this is all done, everyone's welcome to come and I, look at my garden. I actually really love gardening. I know that maybe that's kind of a little bit weird. But no. There, there's nothing better to me than the smell of a freshly cut lawn. I know, right? right? Oh, yeah. It is, it is the best. <laughs> so if, you are, if you are joining us um, on Church Online, won't you let us know, for those of you who haven't already, um, let us know that you are joining us. If you're on YouTube, let us know that you are join, joining us. Um, we want to say how's it. We want to see who's hanging out with us. I think it's going to be a good morning. Yeah. Can I tell you who's online already? Sure, let's do it. So we have Edwin online. Uh, we have Debbie Niemans and the Short family. Um, welcome to you all. We also have Mandisa and Ma Malachi. And the whole Willis family is online. Nice. Um, Sharon, who is Mark's mom, is online. Welcome. Uh, and we have the Sheffermans. So we have a lot of people who are here, and it's so good to see everyone. Well, not see them, but I mean, it's hear good for them. them. Yeah, it's good for them to see us. Let's, let's just say that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed uh, the children's ministry video. I don't yeah. know why I am always the one that gets so splashed. I, well, wet I like all the it. Time. I like seeing you react. You react really well to scary situations. I was. Why uh, were you so scared? Believe it or not, I was terrified in that were video. You? I mean, you know, it's just water, and you know, you're not gonna like get injured or anything like that. But it is. It is terrifying, you, man. Yeah, you look very scared. I'm, I'm sorry that I, I did I, that to I you. Mean, but I was. it's all for the kids. It's all for the kids. Yeah. It's, it's all for the cause. And that's, uh, that's um, did you learn anything from your experience with the balloon? Uh, my mom always told me when I was a kid to never play with knives. <laughs> I think that's, uh, that's some good advice to stick to. Um, yeah, I, yeah. Did you not think that maybe um, you were scared for nothing I mean, afterwards? I was afraid of the water, but sure, if you'd like me to be scared of nothing, that's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was pretty terrifying, but, but um, whatever. Um, you know, I think Rob's, you know, jokes aside, I think it's been a, a, a bit of a crazy season for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's been a lot of families in the church that have, have gone through quite a bit, some of the stories that I've heard this past week and the things that have been coming up on the prayer groups. Um, it's just it's just been crazy. So because of that, what well, we really believe in the power of prayer at Eastside, and so what, what Robs and I are going to be doing a little bit later on in the service is we're going to be dedicating a time where we worship and we pray and we ask God to come through for the families that are that are struggling. Um, I know there's a lot of people this time that have been affected by COVID or diagnosed with COVID people that are struggling. So if, if, if you know of someone that is struggling, someone that's been diagnosed with COVID or a family that you know of, won't you comment um, on the chat, whether you're on Church Online or YouTube, mm -hmm. we want to dedicate a time where we can pray for those people. So I, th I think it's going to be something good. Yeah. And I think in this time, the way that we can support you is by hearing from you and then praying for you yeah. and being there for your family. So it's an honor for us to be able to do that. So should we start by praying? Let's do it. Father, we just, um, we just come before you now and we thank you that we get to still meet with you. That, God, you haven't left our side and um, you're still in this building and you're still in people's homes. So we pray that as we go into worship now, Father, that you would um, be so present in homes, Father, that your Holy Spirit would dwell in people's homes and dwell in this place, that we may hear you and know your presence, Father, and that um, as we worship you and as we hear from your word, that our hearts would be moved to um, seek you and love you more in this coming week. Father, we just want to first of all commit those families who are struggling in this time, Father. We just pray that you would especially pour your blessing out on them, Father, that your hand would be over them um, as they worship you and that you would just be their comforter and their peace. We pray this all in your name. Amen. Amen.
So, church, we're going to take a moment now to, to pray. We're going to take a moment to really lift up our people before the Lord. And so we've got, a, we've got some good responses from you guys about people that you know who are struggling and who are going through some really tough things. So I think, Robs, maybe why don't you lead us in those people that we can pray for. Um, I'm going to start off by praying for Francis. Father God, I just want to pray for Francis' family right now, Jesus. We, we lost one of our own, Christ. And I just pray that your presence would be around this family. That they would know of your grace. That they would know of your peace, God, because they need you in this moment. I pray for your hand over all the arrangements of things that need to happen now with regards to a funeral and with regards to everything that happens when we lose a loved one. And so, Jesus, would you, would you really be with this family? Would your presence be so tangible among them? that they would know that you are there with them, Christ. And would, we, would you help us as a community to come alongside them, Jesus, and show them your grace. Father, this virus has um, just affected so many people and so many families. So we just want to come before you this morning and, and bring those people and those families who we know um, are sick at the moment. So, Father, we bring before you the Grayling family. We bring before you um, the Van Pittens, um, who's... Um, sister and brother-in-law have also been tested positive. Father, we pray f- um, for Charles and Victor, who's in the ICU, Father, and we pray for the Lepuso family, um, for Mandisa, who has eight colleagues who've tested positive, um, and two of them in the hospital, Father, and um, Alf and Leslie, Father, and Nicola, Nicola and Bogani, who've lost so many family members, and Yolandi, um, whose mom has been ill too. Um, and we give thanks for that she has been better. And same with Gordon's mom, fa- uh, Father. We just thank you that um, that you have been kind to them, Father. But but we also just bring before you all these people who've mentioned by name. Um, and we pray that, that you would continue to keep us safe and, and protect us. We pray this in your name. Amen. Amen. Awesome, well, church, we, um, despite everything, we, and the fact that they don't want to let us uh, worship to Kari Job, um, we still want to connect with you as a church, and because of that, we have our Connect card. Um, now, this is for a variety of reasons. First thing, we just want to know how we can support you and come alongside you in these trying times. If you maybe didn't mention a prayer request online right now, you can fill out our Connect card, and we will be sure to lift you up before Jesus every chance that we get. Mm-hmm. Um, if you want information about life groups, online life groups, you can fill out the Connect card. You want information about the church. Um, for whatever reason, we just want to know how we can come alongside you, how we can support you, and how we can be there for you as a community so we can stick this out together. So you can find our Connect card at www.myecc.co.za. Um, and if you're on Church Online right now, there should be a link to go straight to the Connect card. Once you fill it out, we really, really, really miss you, and we want to connect with you. We've had many questions about our WhatsApp group and if our Eastside News WhatsApp group is going to change to a different service. And we, at the moment, are going to stick with WhatsApp. So if you are uncomfortable with being on WhatsApp, we want to invite you to get any of our information from myecc.co.za. There is a special blog there about WhatsApp that you can also read if you would like to. But we just wanted to let you know at the moment we're staying with WhatsApp on our groups um, and we'll keep you updated. We've also had many questions about our upcoming services like the commencement service, Vision Sunday, Volunteer Weekend, and all of that, which we're all very excited about to still do. But we will let you know exactly what's happening in the next week or two coming up. You know, church, I've been reading um, this, this Bible plan where it goes through the Bible in one year. And so I've been going through the first chapters of Genesis. And I think what's been standing out to me the most is just how there's this moment in time where humanity sins against God and brings evil into the world. And already from that moment, you can see God starting his plan to redeem humanity. Already in that moment, you can see where God is actively on a mission to transform people's lives and to bring about salvation to people with his plan. And I think, you know, some of us can question in these times, well, God, what is your plan? 
what is, I mean, what is happening? There's this global p- pandemic. People are losing their jobs. Uh, our loved ones are dying. God, what is going on? But we see this continual theme throughout Scripture that God is committed to bringing about His plan of redemption, deliverance, and salvation despite whatever happens in the world. And so that's what we're committed to here at Eastside because that's what our God is committed to, to bring about the message of Jesus, the good news of salvation. And so we're going to stand firm on that. And I really want to encourage you and challenge you, wherever you find yourself this morning, won't you consider giving to that mission? It is when you choose to give financially just as another aspect of worship in your life that as a community, we can come alongside the people that are struggling and we can stay committed to what God is doing because we believe that our God is faithful and we believe that God is still working in the midst of a global pandemic. And I really think that God is doing something new. So if you can give, won't you give this morning? Take an act of faith. Step into that place and say, God, I don't know what the future holds, but I know right now that I want to offer up what I have to you in this moment. And if you're going to tithe, be faithful with that, because God has always been faithful to us. And if you're going to give an offering, won't you be generous? Because how generous has our God been to us in the way that he loves us and walks with us every day of our lives. So the banking details will pop up on the screen. You can also go to myecc.co.za for the banking details over there. So I'm going to pray for the offering um, and the message as Mark brings a great word, and then we're going to get into it. Jesus, take what your people give and recognize their hearts in the way that they worship you this morning. Christ Jesus, would you receive our tithes and would you receive our offering? in the way that we respond as a community to who you are and what you've done for us, Father. Jesus, I pray that you would use what we give this morning for your kingdom, for your glory. And would you help us as a church to come alongside our community as a church and love people and support people and be there for people. So Jesus, we pray for a special outpouring of your spirit right now in every home, in every living room, in every bedroom, wherever the service is being streamed, Jesus. Would people experience you, Christ, and see you for who you are and love you even more because of that? I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would speak powerfully through Mark as he preaches this morning. Would your kingdom come, would your will be done, and Holy Spirit, would people hear what you want them to hear? In your name, Jesus, I pray all of this. Everybody said, amen.
Hey everybody, so um, we just want to start off by apologizing for all the technical issues. You know, Rian, Rian always says to us, you know, when you're trying something new, you're going to make mistakes. And I was just thinking to myself, like, man, it is such an honor and a privilege to be able to do what we do and to be able to try the things that we try with the equipment that we have. We recognize that there's a lot of people that are not trying new things. We also recognize there's a lot of people that don't have what we have. And so that makes church for them very challenging. Um, and so I think it's in the midst of everything. Thank you for your support. Thank you for understanding. We just want to do this as best as possible. Um, and, we, and we really want to glorify God. And we're actually so grateful to God for the things that we do have. Um, because it means we can do exciting new things where we're learning and we're figuring stuff out so that we can bring you the best possible platform for you to have church at home, safe and responsible, and be able to worship Jesus. So thank you so much for joining us again. And um, we are going to play that kids ministry video one more time. So if you missed it in the beginning, won't you let your children watch it? Um, and it's a really great thing that we both, Mark and I both speak about God's truth. So you can then around your lunch table later, speak to your kids about how God is our truth. And that's the, what directs our path. So I hope you have a great Sunday and we will see you next week. Cheers, everybody.